What time is it? It's peanut butter jelly time. Movie peanut butter jelly well, time. series peanut review time. time. Series oh, review yeah. time. Where y'all at? Where you at? Where you go? There you go. There you go. There you go. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter. <laughs> All right, y'all. I have to do a review on this because I was watching new Netflix series. It's called When They See Us. When They See Us. It came out yesterday, Friday, May 31st, Netflix. It's four episodes and each episode's maybe about an hour long. I'm thinking, but it's totally worth the watch. I, at, first of all, it's based off a true story. Based off a true story that happened in 1989. I don't remember this, but I was young. What was I in 1989? Like 13. Happened in New York. And they accused, the, the, so this girl, this lady, jogger, running through the park, got like brutally raped, almost died. Like beaten, raped, died. And they accused these five boys of doing this. Five boys from like Harlem and that area of doing this. Young boys, like 15, all of them 15, and one of them 16. And first, like, you hear the way they, you see the way they just interrogate gate them without their parents there, their minors, like, interrogating them with no water and not, not going to the bathroom for, like, two days. <laughs> it was something crazy like that. Finally got these confessions made, like, forced these confessions from these boys. False confessions. One of the boys was not even there, the 16-year-old. He came later to bring the other boy to go to the police station with him. He wasn't even around the park. Okay? So, that number one. Then you see the boys go through the trials. Right? That's hard. These are like little, these are little kids going through this. Then you see, so, four of them, 15, went to this juvie, Right? Then they had the other boy, 16, went to like jail, jail. They tried him in his adult. Already, they first show all the other episodes. They, so they showed the thing with they interrogating them. Then they showed what these boys are going through, through the juvie. Then the last episode. And, and then they show the boys with the juvie. And then they show them like how hard their life is after they get out. Because they these convicted felonies and criminals. And they get out and it's still like they, they're in the system because they can't find jobs. They can't, like, they don't even have a life when they get out. And these are boys that are innocent. Like, this is, it, it was heart-wrenching. But the were the last episode. The last episode, they had the boy that was 16, trying as an adult, went to, like, the, the way he was tortured in the prisons. Beaten, spent most of the time in, in solitary my heart oh my my i mean i'm telling you i was in tears look at my eyes i was in tears oh and this is a true story i was starting to then google about it i was starting to google about what this boys and then this is the thing the one that went through the mo the cory that was his name the 16 that went, went through the hardest stuff it went in in the he was in there like the longest he went through the, the hardest in, in the jail, getting beaten, almost died, some beaten to death so many times. He is now out like a, 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 a public speaker. He has these charities and, and these nonprofit like organizations for people that are accused of things and they're innocent. How inspirational is that? Directed by Ava DuVernay. Do, do, you know, I can't say her name. But I met her one. Oh my gosh, y'all. I met Ava before. She directed that Wrinkle in Time movie. Disney's Wrinkle in Time. I interviewed her. She is the most wonderful, one of the most wonderful people I've ever met. She would shake her hands after looking in the eyes. Genuine. So when I heard that, that's why it got me onto this show. Because I was like, oh, she's directing this. She also directed that Selma movie. This is, y'all got to watch this. Produced by Oprah Winfrey, who also did Wrinkle in Time. Like they, Ava even got her on <clears throat> that movie. She was like, you got to go and do this for me. Oprah was like, all right, we're going to do it because they're friends. So this is produced by, by Oprah. 
But y'all gotta watch this. Y'all gotta watch this. I'm telling y'all, it is something. And and then, it, one thing, the president, Trump, at that time, because, you know, he was in New York, Trump Tower, big voice in New York. Oh, at the time, he, ooh, he was, the, get these boys, and da-da-da, all about getting them. All about getting them. And then I even heard, when he went to, like, running for the president, like, it was brought up, and he was still... At that time, he was still, like, not, you know, saying he's wrong or nothing. Still backing himself. That's the kind of guy. He just, too pride to ever think he's wrong. Now, they out. New York paid them millions and millions of dollars. Like, a million dollars each year they were in prison. They only got out of prison because one of the guys had met that Corey up in jail, who was the real, the real rapist, met him. Felt guilty and confessed they did the DNA test because they had DNA of on this woman. Never matched these boys. Never matched nothing. Nothing. They did the DNA test. It came up hot. Like he's confessed. They know he, these boys are innocent. Y'all, when they see us, I give it a five out of five. Watch it on Netflix. It will have you questioning the system. Just qu <sighs> it's something. And to see what these men are doing now, what they went through, but the things they're doing now is an inspiration. It is.